Yeah, take care of that uh, cow in the garden. <laughs> well, yeah, they right away they she texts me back. I tried to call both of them and they didn't answer. That big one. Before, yeah. Probably that big hole seat in it. Huge, leave big old tracks in our Oh, yard. she's got hooves that probably that big around. <laughs> she was in there last of June when we're on vacation. We got holes like this in our yard. Oh, they're still there. They're still there. Yeah. Went in and ate my cabbage, my broccoli that I had in the garden, just cleaned up on it. It's not my birthday yet, but by the time this video posts, it will have just been my birthday. I can't think of a better way to celebrate than with this and next week's videos. Finally getting these new structures on the ground has been a long time in the planning. Ridgeview Mini Barns is delivering our covered deck structure for the goats today. They'll be delivering the regular shed tomorrow. Indigo, get your head out of there. We've got our goats confined over here, hopefully confined, for when they're delivering that structure. They've got their food and their water in here, so they should be just fine. Our goats can escape this fence so we're really happy to be finally getting those structures in place so we can finally get the permanent fencing in place. A covered deck may be a bit of an extravagance for goats. It does rain quite a bit here. We haven't had a lot of rain this summer, but it does rain here in Oregon. So goats really don't like rain. It'll be nice for them to have a covered place to hang out. We do have spoiled goats. Our does shouldn't get all of the attention today. Let's give the bucks a little treat. close to this corner up here.
Just keep the cow out of the garden. Thank you. Got a cow out? Uh, a neighbor's cow is down. Uh. I'm going to get a hold of him right now. I don't want him in my garden. Yep. Just touching the very, very top little edge. Okay, we're touching that, but as we come down, if we go now, we probably won't be touching much of anything. Yeah, it's bending back. Looks good. My gosh, that is so close. Wow. The idea is to get this deck as close as we can yeah, to this building. That's what, that's what we want to do. And we are going to be underneath the lip of the first building, so obviously rain won't get in between. Those temporary two by fours were probably just to keep it structurally sound as they were driving down the road. It's really fun to see them with the finesse that they can maneuver this thing into position. Are we back that way far enough? Yeah, and we can go another inch. Okay, I'm gonna go out. I wanna see how it lines up with the middle post. Sure. Oh, I don't even know. I never even thought about that. We could come back just a uh, just a touch, and then we'd be like really lined up. Okay. I never. We should have. Yeah, I never thought about that center post. That could have been right. The door open. <laughs> we just put it in the middle for support. Man, that's what you call up. Okay, so we got to go back just a little bit then. This way. Yeah. Okay, let me go in with this tail. I mean, with the tail. That gonna work. I'm just gonna get out of the way. Oh, okay. Okay, now let's. Can you get underneath there and push that back? Can we just go right on the... Can you catch this go on the board here? What is it? Well, let me get another one. Yeah, I think we need another one. Well, we're lined up right there. Look at it. You sighted. It. it looks to me like we're right on. How does that feel to you? Is that good enough That's, or not? That feels pretty good. Yeah, so let's yeah. just go back a little bit. Is it possible to? No, we can't because. Oh, of that. we're touching. We're touching right there. Yep. Yep. That's right. Okay. All right, so what we're talking about right now is trying to even up the space between the deck and the threshold. From what we've got here to what we've got here. I would say your best bet would be probably just get a two by and. Lay a two by in there and run some angling screws in there to fill up that gap. Yeah. Could fill. That, how would that? How would that look? Would it be best to pull this end out almost and put a two by all the way along there? Well, that'd be, that's about that'd be, that. To me, it would look better. I think it would look better doing it that way too. Yeah. Yeah, that way it'd be. It look. Uh, intentional. 
Yeah, it looks it, it would look like that's the way it's supposed to be. And we could get a, a pressure treated two by two yeah. by four, so then it would yeah. match even. Yeah. Okay, let's let's go back with it. No, let's move this out. That will help line this up. Okay. Yeah. Let's move this back out again. We'll go out just about. Just, just yeah, so we got an inch and a half. We would have had to cut that off because that's their offset there. How's that? Pushing two. That's it. That's all we got. That is tight. So what do you got? You got about three eighths. Let's go down here. I think you got about a five eighths here. Yeah. Okay, let's go, go by the quarter. Just a little bit. About a quarter. Okay. Yeah. I'd say, yep, yeah, that's pretty. Take a... Uh, okay, now this here, 14 yep. Two by. That lines up real good. Yeah, two by would just slide right there. Real nice. Actually, a two by six. Two by there. six might be a, right might be the way to do it. Still. Don't even have to screw it together practically with the two by six. I just put a few screws into this here to hold it against that building. Mm -hmm. Up here it gets to be a little, little bit the other way, but you know, I guess. Let's that's see what the two by six looks like. So I'm gonna lay it over on that side too. Yeah, I bring a two by six all the way this way, but right here, this could have been yeah, dug that's out. The same height. That's the yeah, same height it's the same height. But this right here, maybe if it had been dug out here just a little bit more, it would have maybe went down, see? Yeah, right there, too. True. We could take the shovel. Right here, too. This, too. Dig this. Well, that well, one's free. I think you were sitting right here. Right here's our problem. I don't think you got it, but you got to reach underneath there and try to clean it. Nice and level as this one. As this mm -hmm. one is, yeah. Okay. You yeah. get some pretty difficult pans. Okay, yeah, that did go down more. Yeah, that did. I know it did. Ridgeview Mini Barns is a father and son team, and they are just the nicest guys to work with. Move this over. Up underneath there and just Ouch. Whoa. Good thing it was doing that on your head. <laughs> that, that's sitting pretty nicely there. Okay, let it down once. Give it the bounce test. Oh, very nice and solid. It seems good. We'll just come in through, back in and pull right and in. I don't through think here. we have to trim much of this because not it's really, pretty but soft. The, but the coming out, it might be a little bit. It'd be a little tight, but I think it's pretty straight, so we won't have to be. Well, whatever. And we can trim a little bit if we need to when we come here. It's all pretty soft. The guy could stand. Yeah, the guy could probably stand in there and hold everything. Yeah, that'll probably work. Okay. Yeah, I see. We'll probably do this. And on the day we can trim if we have to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, take care of that uh, cow in the garden. <laughs> well, yeah, they right away, they she texted me back. I tried to call both of them and they didn't answer. And she texted back and apologized. And he called me back and said, I'll be right down. Yeah. It was, that, it was over over the same one that was in That big one. Before, yeah. Probably that big hole seat in it. Huge, leave big old tracks in our Oh, yard. she's got hooves that probably that big around. <laughs> she was in there last of June when we're on vacation. We got holes like this in our yard. Oh, they're still there. They're still there. Yeah. 
Went in and ate my cabbage, my broccoli that I had in the garden, just cleaned up on it, except for one or two plants. Indigo, stop sniffing the camera. <clears throat> Wendy let the goats back in here before I had a chance to finish up a few things, so now these goats might just be getting in our way. Be good. The goats were playing up here on the deck, clomping around. It was pretty cute. I think they like it. Stormtrooper, you want to come say hello? Don't eat the camera. This pressure treated 2x6 has been cut so that it'll just fit right into that gap and fill the space between the threshold and the deck. Pretty nice if I do say so myself. I will put in a few screws just to make sure it stays in place. Thanks for watching. In our next video, we'll reveal the last shed and the way they all fit together just like they were meant to.